Now I just spent the last hour going through 75 pounds of bolt jewelry that I purchased for 150 bucks. I pulled out some precious metals here. Gold and silver finding is great, but there's something even better than that that most people just don't pay attention to. Hey, it's Don here. I just spent the last hour going through around 75 pounds worth of just junk jewelry that I bought in a big lot. I have no idea what was in there when I purchased it. It's always potluck. I'm always very cautious when I do that. 150 bucks is 150 bucks. You never know. The person I bought this from, though, routinely has some decent stuff in here. They don't check everything out. They're not up on certain items, so I'm always able to at least find some good stuff to make a pretty decent profit. Now, I also got vintage costume jewelry in there, and I've got a couple nice bags. I've actually went in, sorted it out. I went ahead and bagged individual items like this 1950s Emmons set here with earrings and the whole world. Um, but I'm really looking for something else. This will be great to sell. I'll still make hundreds of dollars off of that. For those who wonder where I find gold and silver, it's these sorts of lots as well. And I did find a little bit of gold. I've got some 10 carat here, very tiny amount of it. I also did get a pretty decent amount, three or so ounces of sterling 925, all marked, all marked pieces. I also got another bag with some other things that aren't technically jewelry wise. There's some collectible items in here and such for some pins, uh, employee pins and things like that. I'll probably get 15 to say 30 bucks a piece out of these dozen or so items here. It's also always potluck finding gold and silver in lots like this. Most of the time what I get the most of is just costume jewelry that I can sell. It takes more time. I can't just scrap it or anything else like that. So those are time consumers. I always hope when I'm buying these sorts of things that I do find the precious metal. But the biggest hopes I have are gold filled items. Far too many people don't mess with the gold filled items and don't assume that they carry much of a value. But that is just not the case. Now this bag here is 1 20th of 10, 12, and 14 karat. It's all just mixed together. Now it'll have to be sorted when I go to actually scrap this. They'll sort it all out in the whole works. I usually just dump all of the gold filled though together to figure out my price, the value in these items. Now usually the gold filled from these lots is what pays for my purchase immediately because I never count on gold itself, 10, 12, 14, whatever. I never count on that, and I never technically count on the sterling either. It's always potluck, it's always something better. But I do count on gold filled being in most of the lots that I buy. I don't think there's been a lot that I have purchased in the last, say, three or four years where I didn't find at least some decent amount of gold filled items. Gold filled has real gold in it. There's a set amount of gold in all of these items. It's not as much, obviously, as 10, 12, 14 karat gold, but it's in the 7 or 8K of gold. That's what gold filled equates to when you actually equate how much gold is in these items. Now, we're going to hop over to a couple of sites I use to show you the scrap value on these right now with what gold is going for. Gold's over $1,800 an ounce, and uh, silver is around 25 or so an ounce right now as well. So let's swing on over there and look at just the scrap value out of a lot like this. So I've just got an empty bag on here to balance out my scale. It's at zero. So when I put a bag on here, I'll be able to deduct the amount of the bag. I also have this set to grams because all of the sites that I go to pretty much are based on a gram scale. Now, one other thing I got in the lot here uh, is this coin. Now, I've looked at it closely. It's supposed to be a Spanish doubloon. A real piece of eight, basically, is what this is. And it looks very darn close, but it's not a hammered piece or anything else like that. I've checked it out closely. I've actually put a gouge on the side to see what's on the inside. It is silver. It has that sound in the whole works. You can see some tarnish on it. So this is another piece I'm going to throw in with this, too. It comes to 110 grams. And again, I always use grams on these because that's what most of the sites use. Now let's go ahead and put our gold filled on here. Let's let it zero itself back out. Gold filled. So this is my gold filled. I have 64 grams of gold filled jewelry. Again, this is uh, 1 20th, 
10, 12, and 14 karat, just mixed into there. It's just all types of little doodads. The best piece probably are these cufflinks in here, but I looked up to see if they were worth selling on their own. I'll probably get more out of them as gold filled than I would if I try to sell them because they're just plain design pieces, but that's the gold filled. Now I'm gonna zero this back out, tar it out for a different bag so I can measure out how much gold. Now the gold isn't much at all, as you can see. There isn't much in this bag. It was 75 pounds of jewelry I went through to get these little tiny pieces of gold here. Now there's a flag pin here that didn't look quite right for a normal flag pin. It was actually marked on the very edge over here, 10K. So that one's pretty surely gold. There's another Thesbian's pin that was in there. I looked this over closely because it looks very much like gold all the way around. And sure enough, underneath the pin clasp that holds on like another little uh, attached piece, it does say 10 karat, but it's kind of marked over by the mounts from this extra chained on piece. It's a two part piece. It has a end there for something which is gold as well. And the chain and the mounts for the chain cover up where the 10 karat is. So they probably looked through this and just missed those two. There was also a little tiny chain piece as well as some kind of other piece that was stuck in with another chain. The other chain was clearly not marked and it did look like it was tested, but they didn't untwine this. So this was marked 10 karat gold as well. So let's see weight wise. Again, I'll have to go tar it back out. Let's go see weight-wise what this is. There's not much here. So I want you to see the difference between me finding gold and silver and me looking at the, the um, gold filled. I always make more money from the gold filled. This is only four grams of gold. So I've already got that down here, four grams of gold. So now we're gonna take these numbers over to the sites I use and give you a rough estimate on the gold, silver, and scrap value for the gold filled. So this is goldcalc.com. Uh, there's a bunch of sites. You can use whichever one you want. The only thing you need to worry about is the date that you're doing it. Make sure the date is correct with what gold price is. And this is the current gold price, just over $1,800. So right now I've got, let's change this down to 10 karat. I've only got four grams of 10 karat. That's what I found in 75 plus pounds worth of just junk jewelry. Uh, so gold value, which isn't terrible, I guess, $96. Again, I spent 150 on everything. So I've got 96.76. Now, I won't get exactly that. Probably get around 85 to 90 bucks. Obviously, the person I sell it to is going to take some off the top. So just FYI. So we'll figure this on about $85 I should make on four grams of gold. Again, that's not much at all. So gold just happens to be fairly high right now. Now let's look at another spot here, and this is Silver Recyclers. Uh, they do some stuff with coins, so this is a place I've looked at for quite some time. Now, Silver Spot is $25.93, $25.93 um, there. So again, we're looking at grams here. All told, I had 110 grams, so we can put that in there. We're going to calculate this all out here. So that's basically 3.27 uh, troy ounces of pure silver out of that. So melt value is $84.83. So all that silver isn't worth as much as all of the gold is. So silver value, again, probably around the same amount here. We may lose, say, eight or nine bucks off of that. So we'll put it probably in the $76 range I would get out of this. These are honest prices. This is what I get from my guy. Now, gold could be up next time when I take this in. So I may get more than this. I could get less than this. You could hang on to it till the prices are up higher, whatever you want to do with it. The biggest shocker, though, to most people is when I go and figure out the gold-filled value. Now, this is gold and scrap. It's a recovery uh, site. I believe they buy it or something, if I'm not mistaken. You send it to them. Regardless of that case, uh, the value here is determined by uh, more than just the gold filling itself. you got to make sure that it's not worn down, all the gold's gone, it's not you know just trashed out. The stuff I got is all pretty much in decent, sellable condition, so the gold's pretty much all there, the gold filling. Now, it's a mix of 10, 
12 and 14 carats. So I just stick it in the middle. On average, I should get the 12 carat value and all of it was marked 1 20th. I didn't get anything else marked 1 10th, 1 50th or anything else like that. And obviously the lower the amount on this side here, so if it was 1 10th, there'd be more gold in it than 1 20th. 1 5th more than 1 10th. So we've got 64 grams and what we need to do for this site is get the actual gold price. So it's 1805.66. So 1805.66. And then we're going to calculate this out. And it's just going to pop a little box up here. So it's 1.6 grams of pure gold. That's all I got out of the gold filled. But that's worth $92.88. So, of course, we're going to lose about 8 to 10 bucks of that. So, we'll put 83 We'll put actually $84. That's probably about what I should get out of this. So, if you add all of that up, I've got $84 from gold filled. I've got $85 from 10 karat gold. And I've got $76 from the silver. So, if I went and scrapped this lot right here, I've got an hour into it, 150 bucks of my money. I should get back $245 in scrap value by check from the estate jewelers if I took it in there right this very moment for scrap. Now, if I didn't get any gold and silver, most of my money would have at least been back from the gold filled because most every one of these types of lots, whether I've gotten them at Goodwill before, at big auctions, or any of that sort of thing, I've always been able to get at least a pretty good chunk of change from the missed gold filled that far too many people don't assume carries any value. Now, one of the biggest problems most people would have with gold filled is every dealer does not buy it. So you have to find the right one. Usually ones that deal with the states and things like that will because they'll run into gold filled pocket watches. On some sites, you'll see the valuing of gold filled based on pocket watch cases alone because that's one of the biggest things you'll find. The second biggest thing, and I've talked about both of these before, are glass frames. A lot of times the old vintage glass frames from the 1930s and before are gold filled. One tenth instead of one twentieth as well. So they'll be worth far more than one twentieth. Glass frames were meant to last, so they put a little more gold in them. They were durable, they're nice. I can go out and buy pieces of scrap gold filled at an antique store sometimes at their full price and still flip them and make double my money from things like that again most people don't value much into gold filled so i'm always happy to grab up the gold filled just as readily as i am with gold itself now i may do a video for patreon and show some of the other items i got out of this big lot of junk jewelry so anyway that's what i have for you today well, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Introducing the G.I. Joe Spacematic. Spacematic, the futuristic space vehicle you program yourself to make it go where you want, do what you want. Program it to lift, or to scoop, or use the magnetic pickup. Watch this. Wait a Joe. G.I. Joe Spacematic from Hasbro.